What's up, crypto heads? John Fro here from Crypto Dreams. This is the place to be to learn about NFTs, AI, GameFi, and Web3. Welcome back. In this episode, I am going to show you how to bridge to the Monad testnet. I'm going to show you how to bridge Ethereum to the Monad testnet and then how to swap it for Mon. So this is a way that you can increase your Mon supply on the Monad testnet. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to click like. It helps support my channel. It is much appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the Monad bridge right here. I have a link to this in the description below. Everything I'm talking about in this episode will have a link. I also have timestamps so you can jump around if you need to. But right here, we have the monad bridge so we're going to be bridging from ethereum you can also bridge from soul from solana but we're going to be doing eth okay so what you're going to need to do is select the token connect your wallet first off but then select your token and then you are going to do the same thing here we're going to bridge over for w weath so you can see right now that I have 0.33 Ethereum on the test net. All right. And if you do not have any test net ETH, here's where you can go. You can go right here. This is the Ethereum Sepolia faucet. This is alchemy.com. This is the faucet that I use to get myself Ethereum. There's a whole bunch of Ethereum faucets. This is the one that I use. Again, link for this is in the description below. But I claim uh, Ethereum all the time on the test net. I do tons and tons of test net interactions all over the place, not only on Monad. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I talk about lots of test nets, lots of airdrop farming, which I'm assuming you're watching this because you want to get yourself an airdrop for the Monad main net when it comes. I'm always talking about this kind of stuff. But for me, I'm always claiming Ethereum. If you've never claimed Ethereum, Alchemy is a great place to do it. So you can see right here that I have this much weath. And I am now gonna bridge this over to the Monad testnet. So let's go ahead and get going here. Okay, boom, transaction submitted. I am now bridging over to the Monad testnet. It's Ethereum, so Ethereum takes forever, but this is the countdown timer here. I already have some W Weath in my account. So we're going to jump over and I'm going to show you how to swap this. All right. So once you have everything bridged over, you can swap. I use Uniswap for swapping. This is the best that I know of. You want to make sure you have test net mode turned on on Uniswap. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to swap anything. You're going to be confused and you're not going to know what's going on. Turn on test net mode. You can do that in your settings. Okay, once that's turned on, once you're linked up, you're going to go here and you're going to go right here. Select Monad test net. Then you're going to find your W with select it. You're going to go down here and you're going to find your Mon token. So there we go. We're good. Okay, and we can now swap. So say we want to swap 0.5 weath. One thing you really, really got to be aware of is this right here. Your price impact is basically you're pretty much losing all of your weath by swapping that much. You want to do a small amount. So we're going to do 0, 0, 
0.4. We're going to review that. Still a pretty high price impact. So let's try one. A lot better right there. So we're going to swap that. Boom. We swapped. So I can do that a whole bunch of times. But this is it. That's it. That's all you need to know. I hope this episode helped you out. And if it did, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit like. It really helps me out. Helps support my channel. That support is much appreciated. If you have any questions, drop me a comment below. Links to everything is in the description below. Until next time, I wish you health and wealth. I'm out of here. Crypto.